Now, your news on the go. One man is dead after a house fire in Syracuse that happened yesterday morning. Firefighters say they found James Soda unresponsive inside the home on Short Ave. That's near Vine Street in the Eastwood section of Syracuse. He was taken to the hospital, but later died. Investigators say there were no working fire detectors in the home at the time of the fire. Well, opening statements expected later this morning in the trial of Jefferson County man accused of shooting and killing his wife, along with the New York State Trooper. A jury was seated in the trial of Justin Walters yesterday. He's accused of killing his wife, Nicole, in May of 2017, along with State Trooper Joel Davis. Nine men and three women will hear the case. The investigation will continue today into how a school bus went off the road and into a ditch in Oneida County. Five students were hurt yesterday when a VVS bus tipped onto its side along Kenwood Road with 19 children on board. We're told the kids who were hurt and taken to the hospital were evaluated there and, and for minor injuries treated and released. No tickets have been issued at this time. Well, growing concern among neighbors in Fairhaven as a wall that protects Little Sodas Bay from Lake Ontario is now coming apart after a pretty big beating from high water and strong winds. Much of the economic success of the bay depends on this wall. The deputy mayor says, says that it will take about $2 million to fix it. Now to a health alert this morning, the CDC reports dozens of new cases of the measles are emerging. And the agency says at least 228 cases of measles have been reported across the U.S. this year in 12 states, including a larger outbreak here in New York State that came after someone from the area, from the state, was infected abroad. Investigations on the ground continuing after a plane crash in Ethiopia that killed 157 people. It's a second crash of a Boeing 737 MAX 8 in the past six months. Some airlines have grounded those planes, but they do continue to be in service in the U.S. Boeing says it has been working on a software upgrade for the plane, as it, and it's in close communication with the FAA.